Should I hold on to this or? Yeah. Or just let it sit? Okay. 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 Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Is there anything you guys are looking forward to I think just being together. Just, it's, our, <laughs> it's both of our first cons, so we're just really excited to be here. Yeah, absolutely. We know how important KJ's art is to a lot of people, and so we definitely tackle it with um, a lot of empathy and care and try to really reflect a truthful experience. Um, her discovery is very internal, and she it first comes as a bit of a shock to her, but then she really comes into herself and uh, develops this new sense of confidence with finally finding out who she is. Um, and through this also, I made sure to portray this story while remembering that KJ is from the 80s in a time where being queer was not okay. And so um, we, I hope that's reflected um, in the show. Yeah, well, I think nowadays the 80s is like very exaggerated and it feels like, oh my gosh, cool music, cool clothes, crazy hair. But in Paper Girls, it doesn't feel as romanticized. It's an authentic portrayal of how it actually was with the, with the homophobia and, and the sexism and the racism. And I, I think it's really interesting that we get to see how that affects our characters as young women. Um, and to, to see the comparison of how it was now and to how it is then. For me, it kind of made me a fan. Uh, I'm, I'm not too familiar with the comic book world, but uh, Matt Wilson's color palette just really opened my eyes to um, what this world could be like, and um, I was just incredibly drawn to the art in the book as well as Brian's. Uh, wholly developed characters and how much depth that these girls have um, and I just knew upon reading both the script and the comics that it was just such a special story and I needed to tell it. Yeah, my process was very similar to Fina's. Um, I, I, I had read like a little bit of DC Comics here and there, like the Injustice series, um, but Paper Girls was kind of like my first introduction to like being really into it and I resonated so much with not one but all of the characters and from the get-go, I knew that this was going to be something special. With these characters having to confront their future selves or the possibility of the future, how has that affected your concept of where you could be going and how happy or disappointed with that person you could be? I feel like being 12 years old, not just for girls, but for everyone, there's this uncertainty of whether or not well, nothing is really, you, you don't feel like anything is certain when you're 12 years old. You don't know if you fit in or not. You're always asking yourself this big question, like, who am I? And I think Paper Girls really touches on the, the bittersweet feeling of growing up, of just not knowing who you're going to become. Yeah, and um, for me, I just think it made me sort of re reflect on my future a bit. Um, I, I almost feel like this show is making all my dreams come true in a way and I'm doing things that I've dreamed about my entire life and I think that in the future it's just made me hope that I remember this feeling and really appreciate and savor every moment that I'm doing. So hopeful you don't have any anxiety being gifted all these wonderful things right now. <laughs> There's definitely a sense of anxiety and hoping that the fans who love this show and love the comics so dearly are, you know, sad satisfied with what we created, I think they will be. Yeah, I, I think because both of us are fans of the comics <laughs> ourselves, like huge fans, and both of us are quite satisfied, as well as pleasantly surprised with <laughs> what they did, or what we did. How our characters end up? Dumbfounded. I think that's, I think that's a good <laughs> word for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
we, we crashed a lot of weddings throughout filming. Um, every now and then we'll barge into, every now and then we'll find a wedding venue and then Fina and I have started to bring like formal wear with us everywhere we go so that if there is a wedding we can hit it on the dance floor. Exactly. And we went roller skating a lot together on a rooftop and we would watch the sunset and we would gaze into each other's eyes and we'd look into the sunset while roller skating. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. We, Riley and I had a lot of odd pastimes. Uh, we were in such a bubble in Chicago uh, with really no other girls our age or any friends to, that we knew because none of us are from Chicago. Um, and so, yeah, we, we just found people's weddings and went to them that we didn't know that we were not invited to and went on the dance floor and lived it up. Yes. <laughs> Well, definitely a lot of the source material from the comic books. Um, and uh, our set decorators did a really good job with transporting us to these different time eras that we go to. So everything just felt very in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so, you talk about injustice a little bit. You read a little injustice. I was like nine. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so I don't... I, now you're experiencing comics through Paper Girls and having this very intimate relationship with Paper Girls. Does it make you more curious or excited for the, what the art form of comics can deliver as a narrative device? Mm -hmm. I've, I've heard Cliff and Brian say that they sort of created um, they, they created Paper Girls because they felt that it was a story that would never be able to be told on the medium of film and TV. And so they're like, okay, we'll make it a comic book instead. Um, and so I definitely think that with seeing a book like this being created into a show, it'll open a lot of eyes and be like, oh, like, story, like, it doesn't matter what medium a story can be told on, like, it's possible. Um, and I, I hope it, it makes creators, you know, explore their imagination even more and, uh, you know, see, see what length they can go to. Yeah. The show definitely does focus a lot on, like, the female friendship and the female empowerment, but I think this show is for everyone, and a big part about comic books is that you're looking into the perspective of different people from different backgrounds, and for Paper Girls, you're looking into the, the perspective of young women, and I don't think a lot of people realize how important your childhood was like and how much it affects the future. Um, well, uh, it's a big part of KJ's character. She, a lot of her, you, you hear her talking about the pressure from her mother to, be, to, to have a good bat mitzvah and that she, it's kind of something that she feels that, that family um, wait upon her to follow the right norms and to, you know, uh, follow the right path in her life. And so I, she embraces it as a part of herself, but then, you know, some of the elements that come with it, she definitely feels that that pressure of living up to. Um, and uh, I hope that the story and um, her, her journey in that respect is uh, told truthfully. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. Yeah, thank you.